Okay, so first of all, I'm going to copy the headings in the first table, and then I will right click and paste them transposed. Then I'll copy the headings in the second table and paste them underneath, also transposed. Then I'll select all of these headings and go to Data and click on Remove Duplicates. And this will remove all of the duplicate values, so everything that appears in both of the tables. Then I'll select these values again and I will sort them in alphabetical order. Then I'll copy everything and right click and paste transposed to get them back into one column. Then I will copy the date column from the first table and paste it down here. And then I will use an X lookup formula to get all of the numbers from the first table. So the lookup value will be the heading, the lookup array will be the headings in the first table, and I'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. Then the return array will be all of the numbers, and that also needs to be an absolute cell reference, and enter. Then I can drag this along to get all of the numbers from the first table. This heading doesn't appear in the first table, so I get an NA error, and I am going to hide that by adding in an option for if not found, and this will be two quotation marks in order to get me a blank cell. Then I am going to drag this backwards and forwards, and now I'm going to do the same thing for the second table. So I'll copy the dates from the second table, then I'll copy the X lookup formula and paste it down here. Then I need to edit the cell references so they're looking at the second table. So I'll drag these down and resize them and then enter. And then I can drag this formula across to get the numbers from the second table. Then I can select all of this and copy it and then right click and paste as values. And that gets rid of all of the formulas so it's no longer linked to the original tables and I can delete those if I want. For the sake of completeness, I'm also going to show you another method for getting all of the headings, and that is using a H-stack formula. So I'll select the headings in the first table and select the headings in the second table, and this will put all of the headings together in one column. Then I'm going to put this inside a unique formula, and the unique function by default works with rows, so to get it to work with columns, I need to put the number one in here to return unique columns. And that gets rid of all of the duplicate values, so I have just unique values left. Then I'm going to put this inside of a sort formula, and the sort function also by default works with rows, so to get it to work with columns, I need to put three commas in here, and then put in the number one to sort by column, and close brackets and enter. And now you see we get the same headings here as we did in the first method. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to line up columns in tables in Excel, and that is everything.